Our spotlight story tonight is about the Grant Elementary School Science Fair in Ephrata, where about 50 students showed off their projects. Reporter Jeff Chu was there and has the story. That's right, it's an electrified pickle that glows. The power pickle was a big hit at the recent Grant Elementary School Science Fair in Nefreda. The kids also went wild for Moses Lake High School science teacher Greg Becker's liquid nitrogen demonstration. He dipped and shrank balloons in a bubbling bowl of the fluid that is hundreds of degrees below freezing. He then removed the balloons, which magically reinflated. Then for grins, he showed the effects of liquid nitrogen on a flower. It wasn't pretty. Back in the school's packed gym, fourth grader Alexis Park was showing how the salty liquid in a pickle conducts electricity and lights up. With the juice inside, with the salt water, it makes it light up because there's wires that make the pickle light up. We were going to do an egg drop, but then my dad said, how about a, a pickle turning into a light? Second grader Mason Coffey made his own lava lamp. He described how his science project works. When you put the seltzer in it, it, it makes a reaction in the water, and then the water goes up in little bubbles and then falls back down when it's done. Second grader Hannah Downer talked about her experiment with air and water. So, um, this is the water and this is the air and then if I pour, this is already gone, if I pour this into here and then if I flip it here then it will stop the water. Becky Yanni, Grant Elementary Parent Teacher Organization Vice President who led the event's planning said the fair is all about getting girls and boys interested in science. It's K through four, and we have each of our um, we have we have 13 people who are science um, in the science industry in various ways. Several science teachers from the Ephrata School District, one from Big Bend. John Peterson came from Big Bend, and um, uh, my husband, he's an optometrist. He came. Dr. Bedford, he's a chiropractor. So we had Anita Waller. They interview each kid and give them feedback, and the ch the students talk to them about their project, and um, then they get a ribbon and then we um, just encourage them to be interested in science. About 50 young scientists were involved in projects. The science fair really depends on parents to spend uh, time at home doing the science. It's a big job to do a science fair project with your kid. It takes a lot of time and everybody's busy and so um, but it's a neat opportunity for kids. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber One News. And we'll be right back after this.